Welcome to Simple Review, the series where I briefly play a game, review it, and keep it simple. If at any point you find this review to be helpful, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now in this review, I'm covering the multiplayer experience of Temtem. When playing this game, you will have one core experience, and that is the story mode. This mode allows up to two players to fully play throughout the whole story together with crossplay support. Story-wise, you will be exploring six islands to defeat eight dojo leaders, which is similar to gym leaders in Pokemon, and defeating an evil group of people to become the ultimate Temtem Tamer. When completing this story mode in co-op, game progress will always be set to the player with the least amount of progress or level. After completing the story, you will gain access to Tamer's Paradise, which is where the end game content is located. This area offers a few new activities, but only one of them is co-op, and that is layers. Layers can be taken on with up to five players in a group. Each of these five players will receive a random loadout of Temtem and must decide which encounters they face on the way to defeat the boss. If the boss is defeated, you will receive a Temtem egg of the creature along with some rare items. Along with doing layers, you will also have the option to partake in PvP, but this will only be one player against one other player. The single player content in the end game are Arch Tamer Sanctum, where you face off against the four Arc Tamers, much like the Elite Four in Pokemon. The Grit and Draft Arenas, where you battle it out against endless opponents. Tem Safari, where you will have to survive in the wild for as long as possible. And Shifting Tower, where you explore a randomly generated dungeon with just a single random Temtem in your squad. As you progress throughout the floors, you will find more Temtem and items along the way, with the ultimate goal of reaching the very top. Now when it comes to gameplay, you will first customize a character, then after some dialogue, you will choose from three starting monsters called Temtem. From here, you are free to jump into the co-op action. All battles are done with two Temtem out on the field with each team consisting of six Temtem. If playing co-op, each player will use three of their Temtem to form a team of six. Combat is very similar to Monster Tamer games like Pokemon where it's turn-based and monsters have type advantages and weaknesses. Completing any combat with a Temtem will generate XP and eventually lead to leveling up your Temtem. This can result in learning new moves or evolving. Acquiring Temtem can be done by encountering them in the wild and then using a Tem card. Players can also trade Temtem between each other or purchase one from the late game auction house with an in-game currency. A lobby chat function is available if you're looking to trade or work with other players. And that's all that this game has to offer. Now from my experience, I'd have to say I really enjoyed this game. If you're looking for an experience similar to Pokemon for you and your friend to enjoy, then this is easily the experience you're looking for. The core experience of battling, exploring, and leveling up your Temtem while playing in co-op is fun and addictive. Those looking for an in-depth MMO experience may be a bit disappointed. Besides the five player layer battles, you aren't getting a huge MMO experience you would find in other games with the same label. That doesn't necessarily mean this is a bad game. It just might be confusing if you aren't aware of the MMO features that this game has to offer. The end game content lacking co-op features is very disappointing and I hope to see this change to appeal to the MMO or co-op fans. So with all that being said, I'd have to give Temtem's multiplayer experience 8 pepperonis out of 10. Temtem offers an excellent multiplayer experience that will easily satisfy those looking to take on a Pokemon-like adventure with a friend. And that'll do it for this review. Comment below if you have any questions, and I will try to help.